Hello, Martin Benedict here for ChessPuzzle.net. Today I'm going to show you another content update of Puzzle Academy. This time it includes two complete endgames in the new endgames course. This is the new curriculum for Puzzle Academy. I've split this into several courses because the curriculum was getting way too long for one page. So on the courses page, you now see all the courses, the fundamentals course, tactics, combinations, checkmate patterns, checkmate combinations, defense, and the two new courses, attacking and end games. If you click on the course, you'll see the detailed curriculum for the selected course. Here at the top, you see that the Fundamentals course includes more than 20,000 puzzles and 20 levels for learning 13 skills. And if you scroll down, you can see all the skills that you can learn. In the Fundamentals course, we start with capturing pieces, then we get to defending pieces, defending against check, fundamental checkmates, and this is a new skill in the fundamentals course in the end game king and pawn versus king the rule of the square let's have a look at the end games course curriculum last month I added the first skill for this new course, checkmating with bishop and knight. This month I'm adding two complete new endgames to this course. The first endgame is the pawn endgame, king and pawn versus king. And these skills cover all the possible situations that can occur in this endgame. So the first skill is drawing against the rook pawn. The second skill is winning with the rook pawn. Then we have winning with another pawn. There you can learn about opposition and key squares. And it's got five levels. This level correspond to the row that the pawn has reached. And then there's drawing against another pawn, also with five levels. And the other complete endgame we've added this month is queen versus pawn. This endgame can occur a lot, for example, uh, from a pawn endgame where both sides have a pawn and one side gets to promote a little bit earlier than the other side. Then it's important that you know this endgame and can assess the situation. Is it winning or is it drawing? So let's have a look at some examples from this endgame queen versus pawn. So this is the standard situation where the side with the pawn is losing. So how can black win? If we just play with the queen, it's not going to be enough. We can give checks, but we cannot uh, checkmate with the queen alone. So we have to get closer with the king to set up a checkmate. How do we do this? If we go closer with the king now, white is going to promote and the game will be draw. So we have to give uh, checks and move with the queen until white is forced to move with the king in front of the pawn. And in that moment, we can approach with the king. So let's start with a check. 
Now white is in front of the pawn, so we can get closer with our king. Now we can pin the pawn, for example, and give a check. And we can control the promotion square, give another check, control the promotion square again. And we are getting closer with the queen. And now we can give this check and white is forced to go in front of the pawn. Uh, otherwise, white would lose the pawn. Now we can again approach with the king. White is going to the corner. Now we can give a check here. And white is again in front of the pawn. And we can approach again with our king. And now we can win the pawn and even checkmate in the next move. So that's the standard situation. If we go back to the um, endgames curriculum. This is here the um, first skill. Winning against another pawn. There's two levels. This was from the second level. Uh, in the first level, the king is already uh, quite close. So, and then there are two situations where the side with the queen is not always winning. And this is with a bishop pawn and with a rook pawn. So, let's have a look at an example. So um, here black can draw, and the trick is um, that if we get a check uh, from behind, then we go uh, in front of our pawn, and because of the stalemate, white will be unable to get closer with the king. So let's have a look. Um, okay. We are going next to the pawn to defend it and to threaten promotion. So white gives a check. We go again uh, next to the promotion square so that we still um, threaten to promote the pawn. White gives another check and we go back here. And we, we are always um, threatening to promote. Now we get the check uh, from behind and now we can go in front of our pawn and if white approaches with the king then it's stalemate so white is forced to move the queen again now we can again threaten promotion and we go here and um, okay now let's show a mistake um, Let's say we go in front of the pawn now. That, that would be a mistake because we are we are going to be uh, checkmated actually. So, but let's show this. So yeah, that was not the correct move. And um, let's let's take back the move. And uh, we have to go here. And now we're getting again the check from behind, so we can go in front of the pawn. And uh, white is trying to, let us make a mistake, but we go again in front of the pawn. Okay. Now again the checks from behind, so we go in front of the pawn. Okay, that was a mistake. The check was not from behind. And we went in front of the pawn. And then actually um, white can approach with the king. And then as we'll see later, um, then there will be checkmate threats if the king is close enough and uh, white's going to win. So let's take back that move. And now uh, there was no way to um, avoid 
repeating moves, so uh, white's just making a random move and uh, we can promote to a queen and we achieve a draw. And now let's have a look at the solution page. And uh, actually here on the solution page, um, you remember we took back two moves. So the solution here in green, the actual game moves here below, and uh, our moves are shown here. Here's an, another uh, way that I won before, before I recorded this video. So uh, it's showing all of your uh, attempts to solve this puzzle. This is what we've seen in the video. And you can also see where we uh, took back the moves. So here we got um, checkmated. And uh, here we also went in front of the pawn and the king could uh, approach. So you can click here in the notation to go to this situation. And if you wanted to uh, see why this is um, now losing, you can turn on the engine. And you see already it shows checkmate in 10 moves. So if you go now here, then we are going to check be checkmated. And um, yeah, you can replay these moves, but uh, instead of that, I'm going to show you an example from another level where this situation uh, happens and you are going to play white. So if you go back to our endgame curriculum that was drawing with a rook pawn, there's a similar level uh, also for drawing the bishop pawn. Um, there, um, if you get the check here from behind, which also attacks this pawn, uh, white can go into the corner and then if um, black uh, captures the pawn, it's again a stalemate. So um, yeah, with the bishop pawn and with the rook pawn, there are drawing chances. And um, again, if the king is close enough, then uh, there are checkmate threats and uh, the side with the pawn is still losing. So I'm going to show you this in another example. So here the king is close enough. Um, and we can uh, actually, uh, black is uh, threatening to promote on the next move, but we can actually um, just uh, approach with the king and let uh, black go ahead with promoting to a queen. Now we can give a check here. And uh, white is uh, forced to go to the edge. If they went to um, f1, we could have played queen e2 check, king g1, queen f2 checkmate. And now with the king on h2, we can now go with the king uh, close and certain checkmate. And actually there was um, no way uh, for black to prevent checkmate. So they are sacrificing the queen now to uh, delay the checkmate for a move. But okay, we can just take the queen and uh, we're winning. So let's uh, show this um, situation again. This, this is the uh, endgame queen versus queen where white is actually winning. So the queen uh, is so badly placed and the king in front of it that there's just no square to prevent uh, checkmate. So any move of the queen on the first rank uh, or on this diagonal and we are still uh, going to be able to checkmate here. On G3. Um, okay. And um, yeah, a similar thing uh, happens with the with the bishop pawn. And I wanted to show you one more example of a situation that I didn't find in all of the endgame books. So um, here is also a bishop pawn, and uh, but it's on the on the sixth rank uh, only, or on the third rank here for black. So. Um, and uh, yeah, so some of the endgame books uh, I looked at, they didn't cover the situation or they just said um, that it's easy to 
prevent uh, the pawn from advancing. But uh, actually, I found uh, when generating these endgame training positions that there are some situations that can be uh, very tricky indeed. Um, and this is one of them. So um, actually later I found that uh, in the old book from uh, Averbach that he has some studies where the pawn is on the six rank. So yeah, this, this old book is, I think, uh, very good. Um, okay, and there's actually only two moves that are winning in this position and I didn't find this easy at all. So for example, if you give a check from behind um, then black goes to f1 and then we have to go back. So actually the only uh, winning method is to pin the pawn. And now uh, white has to go to g3. Um, now we can approach with the king and if the pawn uh, now advances to the seventh rank we can play the move queen h1 and uh, now we can get in front of the pawn and win easily yeah now if the queen is in front of the pawn it's uh, really easy we just approach uh, with the king and yeah then it's uh, Zugzwang or whatever, and uh, we can win the pawn and win the set game. Okay, that that was the uh, end end game of Queen versus Pawn, and then there are a couple uh, more new skills for the uh, other courses included in this content update. Um, there's clearance for promotion level two. Here's a nice example. Um, you can play this uh, yourself if you go to the blog post. Um, then there's a uh, smothered mate uh, level five in the checkmate patterns course. Um, there's a uh, stalemate level two in the defense course. And in the um, attacking course, there's a double attack level two. And there's examples for all of these um, in the blog post. Um, one more thing I wanted to show you. Um, so some of you uh, asked me last month that uh, they wanted to uh, start the um, end games course and uh, play uh, check where checkmate uh, with bishop and knight um, but you know I have this um, nice uh, skill tree for puzzle academy where the skill tree makes uh, sure you uh, unlock only skills where you have uh, mastered all the requirements for but okay um, if you if you just want uh, to play uh, certain things or you are already an experienced uh, player and you know your checkmate patterns already, then there was this requirement that you had to know um, checkmate uh, in, in two moves for bishop and knight uh, to unlock this. And uh, now I've uh, introduced um, a new feature where you can just uh, unlock uh, anything. So this is called the, the force unlock. And uh, this will give you a warning that you that you didn't master uh, all of the required skills yet. But if you're an experienced player, uh, you can go ahead and uh, unlock uh, any skill that you want. Um, if you're starting with Puzzle Academy um, and you are already an experienced player, I still recommend using uh, yeah, this will be shown as the first step of Puzzle Academy, but if you skip that or the puzzles that you get are still too easy, then you can go here, unlock skills based on your rating. And um, yeah, you can uh, use this slider to select uh, your rating and you will see all the 
skills here that will be skipped off. That's called the quick start, and this was uh, introduced for version one uh, of Puzzle Academy earlier this year. And uh, yeah, here, here you see all the skills that will be skipped or unlocked. So skipped skills are already uh, mastered, and uh, unlocked skills are already unlocked. So the Unlocked skills will be uh, preferred in your starting practice pool. Okay, uh, yeah, next month I hope to be able to add uh, some uh, more new skills to Puzzle Academy uh, and also some more end games. If you have uh, questions or suggestions, uh, you can uh, always contact me go to about and uh, then go to contact and you'll see my uh, email address or the support email address and you can write there with your questions and suggestions. Thank you. See you next month.